This is a self-driving car you can actually own. This is the Tensor Robo car, and it's slated to launch later this year, starting in the US, Europe, and the United Arab Emirates. Now, there is something very unique about this car. Yes, it can drive you around, but also you can get behind the wheel and drive yourself if you really want to. This car is equipped with cameras and sensors to make sure it can get around and avoid obstacles. And there are also microphones on board so the car can respond to voice commands. But the power really comes in our sensor suite. So we have over 100 sensors in the vehicle, um, starting with our five LiDAR, so our halo LiDAR. We have two LiDARs on the side, one in the front and one in the rear. We also have 11 radar. We have 37 cameras in the car. So we have an onboard supercomputer and it's powered by eight NVIDIA drive chips, 8,000 tops of computing power, which is more than you're gonna find in any vehicle. There are also microphones on board so you can speak to the car. So you could say, turn on the AC or open the trunk, whether you're inside the car or about to get in. And if that freaks you out a little bit, Tensor says that all that information is stored locally. So you don't have to worry about that getting out. But if that still freaks you out, there are physical camera covers and microphone off switches. And what about when you're not using the car? Well, Tensor has just partnered with Lyft so that while you relax at home, you can send your car out into the world and it can drive people around and you can make some extra money. Lyft has also said that it will deploy its own fleet of Tensor Robo cars, so someday you may open the Lyft app and have one of these bad boys show up. If that sounds familiar, Tesla has also shared similar plans where maybe someday your Tesla vehicle can go out into the world and drive people around and then also drive you around autonomously. All right, let's get in here. Let's see what's inside. I'm going to push that button. The door, of course, has to open automatically. And I love how much legroom there is in here. I'm on the taller side and I can stretch out my legs. I've got this display here. I'm ready to watch a movie and knock out and just get to my destination. There's a camera at the top here so I could do a video call if I wanted to. And then I see the steering wheel is ready for me if I really want it. I don't want it. I want to be driven. This is great. We got plenty of headroom here. The other thing that stands out to me is that the dashboard is very minimal. The idea is this is supposed to be a car that can respond to your commands anyway. So why tap anything when you could just talk to it? And it's gonna learn. So yeah. you're gonna get into the vehicle and it'll say temperature, you prefer 72 degrees. Yeah. Great, we'll just reset that for you. It has facial recognition technology so it can recognize its owner your kids, nice. you know, relatives, other people that may be picking up and, and driving for you. So on the inside, it definitely gives a very luxurious feel. There's a screen for each person and also a camera. So if you want to do your video calls while you're not driving, then you have the option to do that. Well, this definitely gives a luxury car vibe. I would not be surprised if it is definitely on the pricier end and not just because it drives itself, but because of the general feel of this vehicle. So who is this car for? Well, it's really for anybody who likes the idea of being driven around autonomously, but also really enjoys driving sometimes. Sometimes that can be a little therapeutic. So yeah, tap the button, let the steering wheel pop up and see where the road takes you. But I wanna know what you think. Is this a concept that you're interested in? Let us know in the comments. And while you're at it, be sure to hit like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.